Hi guys, Bryce from Apple Create Marketing here. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a full width page and a page with using the default template, which will have a sidebar in it. And then I'm going to show you how to set up advertisements on your WordPress site using the ET Advertisement widget. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go here to Pages, and I want to show you the difference between a full width page and a page using the default template. So currently this my fave page is using the full width page and it looks like this. You'll see that the content uses the full width of the page. If I go ahead and switch this over to use a default template and click update and I do a quick refresh, you'll see that now there's a quick sidebar that has all sorts of little widgets in it. It looks like I've got a search widget, a categories, and a calendar widget in here. So since we'll be using the ET advertisement widget, we need to set up any page that we want the advertisements to be viewed on to be using the default template. A quick note, if you want to have your ads on your blog page, make sure that you're using the blog page template and just ensure that full width page is not checked. We're using the default template here. The next thing that we need to do is we need to hover over appearance and click widgets. As you can see, I've got those three widgets in here. I'm going to go ahead and take those out and click and drag over the ET advertisement widget. I want to add a note that this page does automatically update as you drag those over. So first we set a title, and then we need to add some images that we want to use for the advertisements. Now, if you want to grab them directly offline, you can just input the URL for each image you want to use under banner and then the number and then image. But if you want to host them on your own website, you want to hover over media and click add new. Then you can choose file and grab them off your computer and upload them directly to your website. You then click edit and you can grab the URL for that image right up here under file URL. Now I'm just going to use the same image over and over again. Obviously you would want to use a different image for each one, so you would need to upload however many widgets or however many advertisements you want to use. You can use up to I believe eight. So first thing we do is we put in the URL for the image, then we put in the URL that we want to redirect the user to when they click on the ad. I'm just going to use google.com and then enter a title and then the alt text is in case you accidentally delete the image or if something goes wrong if you're hot linking the image and they, someone else deletes it this is the text that would be displayed instead of the image and since I'm using the same image over and over again I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here for image and we'll redirect to say gmail.com and we'll just use Google over again. And you scroll all the way down and click Save. I also want to make sure that Open in a New Window is checked. We always want to keep the user on our website even when they click on an advertisement and that way when they click on the advertisement it'll just open in a new tab and set up over our existing website. So when I go ahead and refresh here you can see that I've got the four different images. It looks like these ones might be a little bigger than 125 pixels by 125 pixels and that's why they're stacked. If you use ones that are a little smaller they should go side by side and be in a block form. And when I click on each one it'll redirect me to each of the URLs that I specified. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use an even cooler ad widget called WP125, and I'm also going to talk about the plugin section of WordPress.